Hello, hello everybody. How are you guys doing today? So today is Tuesday. I hope everybody doing okay, and I hope everybody uh, enjoyed the video that I made so far. And uh, if you guys have any problem, comment below. And I did uh, mention that I did uh, a PDF uh, on the master cam for the Windows, and you guys can look on the, the website. Okay, go through that. Okay. And then today I'm going to talk about the uh, the overview about the toolpath. Okay, and then what all the youth supposed to be doing. Okay, and uh, and then also I'm gonna have a, a little short quiz for you guys so you guys can study and do on your part. Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do? Let's go to a uh, screen here. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about this master camp process and two path planning. Okay, so we have six objective about this two path planning. Okay, one. Understand the two path generation procedure using MasterCam. Number two, identify part features to be machined from the given part and raw material drawing. Three, select proper process and processing sequence to machine feature of the part. Four, select proper two path module for the selected process to produce particular features. Five, select proper cutting tool and the machining data. Six, Prepare process plan sheet. Okay, let's talk about this uh, uh, overview here. Okay, math can be really important, powerful software that can be used to generate two paths for machining almost any part similar or complex. To effective use math cam power, the user must have the following knowledge. One, be familiar with the CAD system to create part geometry. Two, know basic CNC program principle and commands. Three, have a good knowledge of machine practice. Four, know the CAM system NC two pad module. Five, select proper tool, link, and machining parameters. Now, in addition, the user must also follow a certain procedure generate the NC part program. The process and tool path planning is the roadmap for the successful completion of any project. The benefit of good planning include avoiding error, eliminating the need for tool path editing, and three, service as a record, reference guide, and communication medium. The process and tool path planning is very useful for beginners who need to follow logical sequence in completing a project. The planning also it is important for experienced users who generate two paths for machining complex parts. So this is about the, uh, the objective, okay guys? So now I have a little bit more uh, of the uh, quiz, the two quiz so you guys can uh, do do it and you keep it yourself or share with friends, okay? And you guys just go ahead and you know answer the question or leave me in a comment on that whatever you guys like and uh, and I want to show you guys this right here this uh, later exercise right here okay so I think it's gonna be like 12 12 question on here you guys can answer it yourself or look at the book and answer it and you start it from there okay okay let's go over here a little bit here okay okay number one what type of knowledge must the user have in order to effectively use a CAD CAM system number two list three benefits of good process and two path planning Three, what is part feature? Four, list at least seven common part feature in milling operations. Five, list at least seven common part feature in turning operations. Six, describe how to determine the amount of material removed in producing a part feature. Seven, what are the four basic cri criteria for sequencing machining processes? What are the two types of geometric entity used to describe part features? Number nine, what is tooling data? Number 10, what is machining data? Number 11, describe the reason for using a post-processor. Number 12, explain the main purpose of a post-processor. Okay, that's all I have for today, guys, and I hope you guys like learning a little bit of it. And uh, next time we're gonna see you guys again, and uh, I'm gonna make another video. Okay, so uh, this week I'm gonna make another video on uh, how to make a new project on number you know 11.
So hope you guys like this uh, video and hope you guys share some information with friends. Okay. Hope you guys have a good day and uh, see you next time. Okay. Bye bye.